Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not? <laughs> Consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. It massively helps out the channel. And I know I always say it, but I can't express the difference it really does make. So thank you so much for being awesome, for clicking that like, for being involved with one another down in the comments and just being kind to one another as well. And with that being said, let's crack on with today's first story. Much love, guys. Now, today's first story comes from suspicious wife throwaway who says, is my 40 female husband, 50 male, having an affair slash about to have an affair? some background we've been married three years and we have an almost two-year-old daughter our marriage is not without your typical disagreements and moments of humanity but it is otherwise great he's a great husband and father and i have never doubted him or his fidelity however today i picked up his phone to google something he has a passcode but we know each other's and his instagram was open I don't have one, so I scrolled through his pictures and he has a bunch of us, our daughters, his parents, working out. He's a personal trainer at a gym. And food. Nothing weird or suspicious. Then I saw a message pop up and it said, Sorry I missed you today. I was in a rush. Let's catch up another time. It was from a girl who from the looks of her Instagram is maybe early to mid-twenties, is very attractive and goes to his gym. I know this is somewhat wrong, but I couldn't help myself. I looked through their previous messages starting from late October and it goes like this. Bear with me as I go through this timeline. The husband says, he sends a promotional picture of an event at the gym and says, hey, hope you'll make it. We'd love to have you there. The girl replies, hi, looks fun. I don't have any friends who are interested in fitness, but maybe I'll go. To which he replies, you should make more friends who are inclined to exercise. Here's my number in case you need anything and types his number. Opie then goes on to say, I checked his text history. Wrong, I know. And it looks like they've texted or called, but the timestamp in their Instagram inbox history shows that a week later, she restarted and continued the conversation. She said, I just purchased my ticket. Husband replies, awesome. I'm confident it will be a fun night. About a week after that, two nights ago, Friday, is the event. I knew about it before I found these messages as it's an annual event and I chose not to go this year, but my husband went. He didn't act or dress suspiciously before or after he went out, but based on the timestamp, I found out that after he came home, he messaged her again. And the conversation is this. Husband says, hope you enjoyed the event. Let's hang out sometime. The girl replied, I did. It was a ton of fun and yeah, sure. Husband replied, great. Want to grab a bite or go bowling? When are you free? The girl replies, I'm usually free on the weekends. I'll be at the gym tomorrow. Let's chat then. He says, sounds good. The girl says, this evening, which was minutes ago, sorry I missed you today. I was in a rush. Let's catch up another time. After reading those specific messages, I started freaking out. He has not mentioned this girl to me. And although it only seemed like they just started being friendly and flirty a couple of days ago, I am feeling ill just thinking about them being together at the event. I have no reason not to trust my husband, but is this now a reason? He's of course allowed to have friends of all genders, as am I, but I feel uncomfortable that he gave her his number and asked to hang out. She must know he's married with a daughter because of the pictures, but I don't know. Maybe they're into each other. What do you think? Is this conversation an affair waiting to happen and what should I do? Confront him? And we do have like a small update on this particular post and a full updated post as well. But I got to say myself, that certainly sounds like he was asking her to go out on a date when he said, do you want to go out for a bite to eat or go bowling? But then again, you know, it might not be. It might be just like a casual outing, them going bowling together or just grabbing a burger. It didn't say it was like a, a hugely romantic restaurant or anything like that. However, I think I would certainly be confronting this and find out what the hell is going on. But Life as a God Dream says it absolutely sounds like your husband is trying to initiate a date with this woman versus a friendship. Casually, without confrontation. Bring her up. I was scrolling through your Instagram and noticed that goes to your gym and who is she? If he gets angry, defensive or lies about her as just being some random woman he doesn't know, you have your answer in regards to his intentions with her. 
OP replies here, my heart just dropped at the idea of your reply being true. I do not want to jump to conclusions, but my mind is spinning. He's on his phone now playing music while he cooks and I'm shaking. We'll bring this up tomorrow when he comes back from work. Do you think they've already hung out slash have been seeing each other before this? Frankie Blue Eyes says, I have several friends that have been professional trainers for 20 plus years in the competitive market, New York City. None of them would blur or cross the boundaries to gain new clients by asking to spend private time away from the gym for bowling, getting together. Your husband is asking this lady for a date. I'm sorry if this is hard to read. What is extra creepy and disturbing on an entirely another level is the age difference. For a guy in his 50s to be asking a woman in her early to mid 20s is upsetting. I'm sorry to say this, but it seems that you might have missed some red flags as his behavior usually doesn't just happen. Also, the fact that you so want to find some logical explanation indicates you are in denial about the reality of your relationship. No matter how this turns out, I would sincerely think about seeing a relationship counselor, therapist, to help you develop a stronger sense of self-esteem. Edgar Van Burden says, I'd be uncomfortable with this. A middle-aged married man should know to tell his wife before hanging out with a 20-something woman if they don't have ulterior motives, especially without any backstory like daughter of a friend or a co-worker. I'm sorry. Raspberry Kitsune says, so another spin on things. While my heart would be aching in this position and it could be hard to see things this way, I know personal trainers make a lot of money on commission. Could it be that he is trying to be her personal trainer and snag her for the commission and the being friendly is a way to reel her in. I know this is me being hopeful, but I've had companies treat me because they want to keep me as a client, though they've never corresponded with me via Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I think his advance definitely crosses a line. I'll wait to see how he reacts to you bringing it up. Admiral Riffraff says, my personal trainer is married. We're also friends. We go out for a drink every now and then, enjoy banter and catch up as friends as well as training and gym stuff. I happen to be female. He happens to be married. We are mates. I don't think based on this, your fella is cheating. However, I would strongly advise you talk to him about it. Not a bunch of internet strangers. So then OP goes on to their first part of their update, which says... Here is my eye-opening and cathartic update. At least the one I'm allowed within 48 hours. Thank you all for your helpful replies of advice. I really needed an unbiased opinion to help me sort through my thoughts. I had an awful night's sleep. My husband fell asleep while I was showering, so fortunately or unfortunately, I wasn't able to confront him last night. And unfortunately, I woke up feeling worse. Bear with me as I'm writing this through tears and I'm very emotional. More so than yesterday after some of your replies calmed me down and I decided to look at his phone this morning while he was in the shower to see if he had replied to a message. This is what I found. Husband, in response to her last message. I'm sorry too, with a smiley emoji. Hope you had a great weekend. Are you free anytime next weekend or this week after six? And he says again, keep up what you're doing. You look great. Here are replies saying, I got sick from being out in the cold on Friday. I'm free Wednesday or Saturday. He replies, sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better soon. Great, does dinner Wednesday at 6.30 work for you? She replies, thanks. I hope I get better soon too. That time works for me. Will any other members or trainers be joining us? We should make it a group thing. I see the same people at the gym all the time, but I don't really actually know anyone, lol. Husband replies saying, I hadn't asked anyone else. I hang out with my colleagues occasionally, but not regularly add in mind to get to know you better, your gym experiences and such, if that's okay. We could do names a mid-range restaurant. She replies, oh, okay, gotcha, sounds good. See you Wednesday at 6.30. He replies, great, and gives her the address to the restaurant. Be well till then. It shows that she's seen the message, but she has yet to reply. But I'm done. I'm done checking messages because it is more than enough to ask him what the fuck is going on. He's telling her she looks great. He asked her out to this restaurant where the lowest price for an appetizer is $17. He wants to get to know her better. He still hasn't told me about it slash her. And some of you are even saying she doesn't seem interested, but she agreed to it. Oh, and fun fact, I found out she's 26. I'm shaking and crying and I still can't even tell if I'm overreacting. He has posted videos of his clients exercising before and described them as beautiful, hot and fit in the captions. My husband will be home in about four hours. 
My daughter is at my mum's and I just returned from work, reliving what I discovered this morning as I typed this. I truly do not know how to approach this situation non-confrontationally to get the honest truth out of him. I am that livid and confused. I never thought I would be here in this dilemma, but here I am. Just thought I'd update. How should I approach him now? And like Obi said, she did agree to it, but it certainly doesn't feel like she's interested in that way at all. It sounds like she's trying to, she's more social, trying to get to know other people at the gym and the trainers at the gym as well. In some ways, and this might be me overstepping here with this opinion, but it almost feels like she's uncomfortable with the one-on-one -on -one scenario at the restaurant. But I don't know. Let's move on to the full update to see what happens next. Thank you all for all of your helpful advice and supportive and sympathetic words. I want to provide an update as to what transpired since my post. I wasn't sure if I wanted to post an update because I do not think I'm handling this well or valiantly. I didn't pack up his clothes or call a divorce lawyer or do anything but feel sorry for myself, so I'm a bit embarrassed. But I've decided writing it out might help. This is long, sorry, and this is what happened. Monday night, waited for my husband to come home after work and he walked in around nine. He was acting totally normal and I waited for him to change into his relaxing clothes to be less confrontational. Our daughter was at my mum's. When he sat across from me at the dining room table, we just talked casually and then I said, hey, so I was Googling XYZ on your phone and your Instagram was open and while I was looking through your pics, this girl messaged you. Is she new to the gym? He looked confused and I tried to look neutral didn't want to engage in responses based on my reactions and then a few seconds later he was like oh yeah her and then says her name she's not really that new but she's been going there a lot recently and i wanted to get to know what she was about and how she's been fitting in at the gym i know my husband is friendly and will often randomly chat up strangers but like you guys know i felt weird about this so i basically told him i saw their messages to meet up on wednesday and asked if she was going to be a new client of his is an independent trainer at this gym. The gym has its own membership, but he works on his own in the space. At first he said maybe, and then when I pointed out that she didn't mention interest in personal training in the messages, he was like, oh, well, no, she wants to be a gym member, not a client of mine. I asked him why he didn't mention her slash the dinner to me, and he said, didn't think there was anything to mention. So I dropped it. I felt like I was handling this badly, and that was grasping at straws for the sake of continuing this conversation. We didn't speak about it for the rest of the night, except when he asked me randomly before bed. So what are you mad about? I asked him why he thought I was mad and he just said I've been acting strange ever since he mentioned the girl. I said it was nothing and that was it. Wednesday night, I decided to trust my husband, keep faith in him and did not bring it up at all the next Tuesday. Wednesday morning, I asked if he's still going out to meet this girl and he says, yeah, I might go out with some of the other trainers. Again, I decided to be trusting because it's my husband after all and why would I doubt every word he's saying? Wednesday night comes and I try so hard not to think about what they're talking about slash doing etc. I kept reminding myself that he didn't lie to me so it's not fishy slash weird. But then 9.30pm rolls around and I'm freaking out inside so I text, Hey, hope your meeting is going well. Home soon. And he replies 45 minutes later saying, Yep, in a cab right now. Him coming in at 11 is not unusual. Sometimes he works until 10. Sometimes he hangs out with long-term clients who are always men, however. When he gets home, I ask him if he had a good time and what they talked about and if she was liking the gym and wanted to be a client. I was trying to sound like I assumed it was professional and all he told me was that they talked about her eating slash exercise lifestyle, his clients and travel. Again, I decide not to press it. Thursday something still wasn't sitting right with me that next day. I checked his text messages that evening while he was exercising. So much for faith and not checking messages, right? And this is what I found. The girl said Wednesday evening, hey, I'm on my way, but be a few minutes late. Here, I'm sitting at the right when you walk in. He replies, okay, be there in five. Husband at 12.06 a.m. on what is now technically Thursday, about one and a half hours after he got home. Hey, Hope you got home safely. Thanks for sharing time with me. I really enjoyed your company, much more than I would have imagined. I hope I can see you soon. How about Saturday? She replies at 8.30am. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks again for dinner. 
I have a potluck on Saturday, but maybe another day. And when I checked again about an hour later to see if he answered, the messages were deleted. That gutted me. I was really upset by what I found and I decided to speak to someone, not a marriage counselor yet, so I called my brother and told him everything. One of the reasons I wrote on here was because of the anonymity makes it easy to admit embarrassing things like your husband may be having an affair. I feel like I need to tell someone close to me at least. My brother basically told me that he thinks my husband has a crush on this woman and that either she doesn't know he's married or is looking to make friends at the gym. He doesn't wear a wedding band when he trains by the way and needs to not be friends with my husband. Oh, and I need to shut it down. I know crushes happen, theoretically, but the idea was crushing me. So this morning, Friday, I told my husband I want to talk with him after work. So when he gets home in a bit, I'm going to tell him everything I know but more importantly, how I feel about the situation. And one more little button in for myself before this final little update, which it says, it still doesn't feel like she's totally interested in him. He, he sounds like he's totally into her, to me. But when he tried to initiate another date to meet up, she said she had a potluck on Saturday, whether that was true or not, and then says maybe another day. Doesn't specify which day, doesn't say, oh, what about Sunday? Just says another day. Which again, you know, could be legit saying another day, but it just feels like saying another day. But it just sounds like trying to put it off in some ways. So OP comes in with update from last night. I told my husband everything. That I saw the text messages too. That I think he has a crush on this girl and that I am unhappy with it. And if he is committed to the marriage and his wife, then he will stop all of the communication. At first he kept saying over and over that they are just new friends. That why would she be interested anyway? and that they weren't romantic on basically the dinner that they went on, and that she talks to other trainers at the gym, so it's not like the two of them are only friends with each other. So I pointed out that he pursued a date with her, didn't tell me about her on his own like he should with an innocent friend. He texts her flirty things like about enjoying her company. He asked her out again, and he deleted the messages, and all that stuff, and that it is all inappropriate and just flat out deception, lies and wrong in a marriage. He kept on saying that he was just deleting stuff off his phone indiscriminately, that he doesn't question me about stuff on my phone, that I need to trust him and the kind of person he is. He has always been a kind person who would give a shirt off his back to help a friend, and he wasn't serious about seeing her again. That's when I lost it and just yelled at him that it is a bold-faced lie, that he's cheating by being attracted to someone and pursuing this attraction by spending time with her alone and flirting, sending her texts at midnight. And I never signed up to marry a liar or unfaithful man. And that I was going to go for separation. He didn't even say anything to that. No reply. Nothing. I felt so defeated after that, just crying, and I stopped speaking. He kept trying to hug me and console me. I didn't even want him to touch me, so I asked point blank, do you like her? And he said that yes, he does. That's when he broke down crying too and kept apologizing over and over and saying he feels guilty. I asked him if they slept together or did anything physical and he completely denied it. I don't think they did, but why all of a sudden feel guilty? And my trust is broken, so I asked. And he kept just saying that he thought she was pretty and a nice person at the gym and he liked to hang around her. We talked about it for a long time. I wanted to know all of the details. I asked if he told her he was married he said he didn't tell her explicitly, but she saw his Instagram, so he knows she knows. I told him again how much it hurts me and that they can't be friends because of this and that he needs to delete her on Instagram and stop texting her. He said he would text her that they can't meet up anymore as a final text, but that he didn't want to delete her as a friend on Instagram because it's more work related. That made me feel still uncomfortable. So I told him he doesn't need to be friends with her as she is not even a client. I want to trust him that it was just a crush and even if he can't quit working at the specific gym, he can quit communicating outside of it. We decided to think about marriage counseling. He thinks we can work strengthening our marriage, spending more time together without outside help. And I kind of agree. I don't know what a marriage counselor would tell us about the situation that can help us, but I am not opposed to going. So that is where we are now. And again, like I've said, a couple of times in this post already it just didn't feel like she was very interested in what was going on 
yet he was still trying to pursue something along the lines here. And whilst I've heard of people being able to move past this with marriage counsellors and various counselling and stuff like that, I'm not sure if I would be able to do so. And again, this is just a me thing. As I said, I've heard many people that's been able to move past this kind of thing. But I just look at them and think, do I trust this person? This person was like behind your back setting up dates basically because they fancied this person. And if this girl, in a different scenario, she made a move on him, surely he would have acted on it, wouldn't he? Just an incredibly sad one for OP's point of view. But what do you think? What would you do in this situation? Would there ever be a chance you think you could move past this kind of betrayal? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, support and time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for getting involved. It's absolutely crazy. If you do enjoy these stories and want a different format to listen to, go to mark-narrations.com where there's a whole selection of podcasts you can listen to. You know, if you're out and about doing your thing and fancy a bit of a listen, get involved over there and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care guys and much love. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Okay, I know that's a damn.